Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play the Here and Now of Yesterday. I am Oblik and we were in a room with a clock and apparently we could fiddle around with it and I forgot that this is loud. Uh, um, uh, yeah, in the last recording, the, uh, the video that I was talking about, uh, I actually had to put it in there manually because Fraps didn't pick it up. Um, so yeah. Uh, but hopefully it looks okay, and it, it comes out alright. Uh, a stop clock is still right twice a day. Change the time. Why not? 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 6 o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock midnight. Uh, let's start with 3 o'clock. Okay. Beautiful grand piano. It doesn't look like anything has changed. Chest, it's locked. Hey! Was that cheese there before? Some bread and cheese. A tea set. I feel like... Oh, hello. There's a little girl up there. Uh, let's see what you have to s say. Apparently nothing. Okay, I'm just chasing you around the room? Are you looking at things that are important? Nope, empty drawers. Okay, I guess I'm not supposed to do anything with her. That's okay, fine. Let's chase her one more time, just for good measure. Three times the charm. A third time's the charm. Wow, that was, that was pretty bad. Uh, anyway, so nothing really happened. Um, I don't remember. I, I, again, I remember playing some of this stuff, and I remember this room vaguely, but that's about it. Six o'clock in the morning. Ah, there's a lady at the bed. Do you have anything to say? Aha! Uh, woman staring at bed. I can't believe it. I can't believe she ran away from us. What did we do to deserve this? I know we haven't been the perfect parents, but we've tried our best in terrible circumstances. What are you supposed to do if you have an abnormal child? We only wanted the best for her. Aha! So maybe the child is the werewolf. Uh, there was a book on werewolves up top that I read earlier. She didn't have to do this to us. Why couldn't she have said something? I can't believe it. It's not fair. What did we do to bring this curse on us? Her father's out looking for her now. He's faster than her on horseback, but the problem is we have no idea which way she went. She could have gone anywhere. Oh, I hope he finds her. I'll never let her out of my sight again. I'll put a ball and chain on her if I have to, ungrateful, insolent girl, little girl. That turned dark rather quickly. No, I don't mean that. I'm just upset. Look, she left her teddy. She must be really angry. And her favorite green shoes. Okay. Uh, if she's not wearing shoes, that must mean she's transformed into her form. So yeah, she is the werewolf. Why did she come here during the full moon? That was so stupid of us. Oh, okay. We thought that it would make sense if the man of the manor needed to examine her, but we should never have come at this time. We were so naive. Oh, Naomi, please come back. Please come back. Please find her. Please find her. Okay. Is that it? I'm afraid to talk to her again because I might have to go through that whole dialogue again. Please find her. Okay, no. They were considered enough. Oh, the table changed. There's no more cheese or tea. There's a note, though. Dear Mom and Dad, I have run away. Don't try and find me. Yours, Naomi. Okay. Uh, yeah, my, my voice can't go that high with, uh, with accuracy. I don't have the range, if you will. Um, so, yeah, let's see. It's understanding werewolves. It's still the same book. Blarty, 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 blar. Yep. Okay, it doesn't seem like anything else has changed some flowers. Alright, let's check out what t happens at midnight. 12 o'clock midnight. There is a creepy dude at the piano. Let's see if the note has changed. Okay, no. Minute piano. Maybe this melody will, will bring them back. I spent all day looking for my daughter. Nothing. No trace anywhere. 
And then I came back here and my, my wife was gone. Oh, that's lovely. I don't understand. Where is she? Did she decide to go out and look as well? Did she run away too? I asked her to stay here. I don't understand. This can't be happening to me. Maybe she's coming back. Maybe they're both coming back. All I can do for now is wait. It's so excruciating. I only have this piano to pass the time. This was Naomi's favorite tune. She always seemed to calm down when I played it. That made her mother happy too. She's just pe a peculiar girl. A peculiar child. I don't have a speech impediment, I swear. I remember, even as a toddler, if you were ever snuck, if you ever snuck up on her, then she'd go crazy, completely ballistic, and run off. If you wanted to talk to her or approach her, ah, uh, you had to make eye can contact every time. Such a strange girl. Where is she now? Where are they both? Maybe this melody will bring them back. Aha! So she was running away because I wasn't making eye contact, but the question is, could I make eye contact? Let's go back to 3 o'clock. <clears throat> yeah, see, she's... Can't make eye con contact there. Kind of difficult there. Aha! There we go. What's up, buddy? Little girl. I hate my parents. They brought me here to this stupid manor or mansion or whatever to or whatever to try and cure me. But but what if I don't want to be cured? Did they ask my opinion on the whole thing? No, of course they didn't. I mean, why bother? It's not like I need to be involved in decisions about my life as as big as that, losers. I like being a werewolf. Anyway, I don't see what's so bad about it. They're just jealous of me. They call it a curse, but they really know it's a gift. A gift they didn't get. I mean, what are they good at? They don't have any special gifts like me. Well, Daddy's really good at the piano. But that doesn't count. That's not paranormal. They're meeting the owner of the house now to talk about me. They think I don't know, but I, I'm not as stupid as I think. Or... I'm not as stupid as I think. Okay. Uh, okay. The joke's on them, though. They say they don't want me to be paranormal. It's hard to read that stuff on the white background up there. That being paranormal won't help me in the world. But who wants to be normal? It's just one step down from paranormal. They're so jealous of me. They're meeting the owner of the house now to talk about it. They think I don't know, but I'm not as stupid as I think. The joke's on them, though I'm planning something. That seemed like it was repeated. I'm going to run away. Right now, I'm just figuring out the best way to leave this room without leaving any trace. Don't tell anyone, okay? Oh, okay. Go away, I'm plotting. All right, so... I don't know if that's going to change any other timelines, but I can check. So now she's freaked out again. That's really cool. Actually, if you approach her from the front down there, then she doesn't run away, but uh, she doesn't have anything to say. So yeah, she'll still say, go away, I'm plotting. So let's change it to... Let's just check. Yeah, please find her, so no. Uh, yes. Clock midnight. Okay, it doesn't look like it, so three o'clock in the afternoon. Um So yeah, I think that's it in here. Um it's an interesting little story. And I, I think again, this is one of those rooms that's really not related to anything else in the house as far as I know, unless I miss something in there, which is completely plausible. But yeah, let's keep going. Yay, lightning! Alright. Now, I do remember this room. I don't remember what exactly what happens, but I know it creeped me the fuck out. So, so peaceful in here. Oh, those music boxes. I got chills right now. Uh, that music box kind of music just creeps me out. 
Red roses on a green hill. The paint is still wet. That's wonderful and terrifying. Like this, this ambiance, this lighting, everything is. This is creepy as fuck, especially with the music. Cozy fireplace. You can't feel any heat. It's as if the fire isn't there. Okay. Every little dialogue box so far is not good. The clock doesn't seem to work. You hear no ticking. Okay, that wasn't so bad, but... Oh, giant teddy bear. So far, giant stuffed animals in this place have been fucking scary. A soft, fluffy teddy bear. Its eyes look so empty. Yeah, that's, that's wonderful. A non-broken mirror. No mirror image. How come? Maybe it's dusty. Clean it off. Okay. Oh! I'm just on edge. <laughs> Holy crap, that made me fucking jump. Oh. That wasn't that bad, it just, I'm really on edge. <laughs> A fine looking chest. What might be inside? I'm not sure I want to know. Okay. A little teddy bear. It looks sad somehow. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I just, something happens in here. That wasn't it. It's, it's, yeah, I like that. I don't know what happens if they touch you, but I ran away because I'm not really willing to find out. Man, I just, it's, it's not even that scary. I'm just jumpy. This is nothing but an illusion. You must help us. No more. No more can we take this. Free us from our curse. Or you'll be bound to stay here forever. That's... Oh, that's, that's lovely. Let's play. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Let's play. What's up, kid? Okay, you disappeared. A black and white, so colorless. A once beautiful flower, all gray and withered now. This is loud, too. I, I don't like when it gets sporadically loud like that. Okay, you can't look at the chest. Teddy bear? Nope. <sighs> so, yeah, like, I, I remember... It, that's oh there's skulls there that's wonderful hey kid whoa okay you weren't that clock's freaking out the clock's freaking out it's not ticking but it's freaking out oh i see the teddy bear so it's, it's wonderful it's just if the cold air is streaming out of the gap so cold hey kid what the hell what are you doing is that is that blood coming out of its eyes uh, probably Hey, how's it going? Oh, you didn't want to talk to me. Uh, this is blood marks. My hand, not even dry yet. Okay. Something's going to happen. Um, okay. Maybe I can just leave then, right? Yeah? Uh-huh. Invisible force is pushing you back. Apparently not! Whatever's in here, it's not done with me. Uh, rocking horse? Help me. It's got red eyes. That's not creepy at all. Oh, hello, little girl. Darkness. So, so loud noises. And then it was all over. Mommy. Daddy. Where are you? Jesus. Come on now. That was kind of uncalled for. Okay, it's locked? Okay. Oh my god, I'm just jumpy as all hell. Um. All right. Yeah. I, uh, footprints lead to the store. I don't think I want to. Um. Yeah, I think I was here. Pretty sure I've been everywhere, as far as I know. Okay. Yeah, I remember coming out here, and I couldn't go anywhere. S yeah. So. I'm not exactly sure. I know you have to come out there eventually, but I don't know how to get out there. Um... Something in here still? The grab between the and the candles fire. The breeze seems to be coming from... Okay, um... I wonder... Alright. Um, I don't think I finished this now that I think about it. I think there's... Uh, uh, something there that I need to open somehow, and I don't recall how to do that. Um, hmm. 
I mean, it's quite plausible that I missed something. I mean, there's... Uh, there's a lot of different rooms, and they're only vaguely connected to each other, like I said, so I could be missing something that was meant to be intuitive, uh, but I don't know. The breeze seems to be coming from below. Right. Okay. There's a lot of boxes in here. I'm trying to talk to everything just to see what happens, and nothing's really happening right now. Nothing exciting. Um, okay. Let's, uh... Oh, there I am. Uh, did I go in here? No, I remember that's locked. Uh, I went over here, right? Yes, the kitchen with the disappearing lady. Um... Hmm, did I go over here? Yeah, this is the basement, which I think, or the pantry, or whatever you want to call it, that leads to the attic with all the dead things. The guy's uh, art gallery, if you will. Or... Does it? Am I wrong? Yeah, okay. I don't want to be there. Um... Hmm... Uh, the butler's tent. Seek Scott's holy place. However, to get there, you must first seek hell. So I feel like I need to go down. Um, and there's some stairs over here. And I remember going down here, and there really wasn't anything in here. There was a weird little... Uh, that was strange. My move speed changed there for a second, or something lagged. But yeah, uh, something happened, but it wasn't very exciting. It kind of started and ended, and that was it. Um, I feel so dumb. I'm wasting everyone's time. And I've been down here. Uh, sure. Nothing. Okay, I did this. Wait, let's let's look around down here. Maybe there's a key or something. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I do enjoy the music of this game. Um Okay. Uh it's it comes from a wide variety of places, but it's uh most of it's pretty good stuff. All right. So, now I'm kind of lost because I th th Oh, wait. Um I do have to find something... Ace... Okay. Ace of Spades. So I suppose... I didn't... Okay, I didn't look at these cards before. Maybe there's cards that I need? Um... I don't know. Let's let's look around this room again. Um, I remember that note in the one place with the chimney talks about, uh... Something being dropped on a sink. And the only sink I remember, that was... That note was in here. It was right in here. And then there's a bathroom. And this is, as far as I remember, the only sink. Even that place with the vanity didn't have anything going on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hope this happens quickly because we're running out of time. Uh oh. I might just cut this one in half, because this might go for a little while. That is filling up. That filled up. And now what? This reminds me of, uh, this, this... Oh, it's getting dark. I told you bathrooms were creepy. I told you. Can I... <laughs> I can't leave. Um, what am I supposed to do? This is... this is... not fun. Yeah, but this room specifically reminds me of a game called Paranormal. It's a indie horror game and... Uh, yeah, the bathroom's creepy like that one. And something like this happens where you just get locked in. What the fuck? Okay, at least it's not blood. I hope this note finds you well, Master. As you first thought, yes, we have her. I'm not sure where they're keeping her exactly, but I managed to grab this. As you can see, it's a key. Apparently it opens the doors to the outside. Okay, good. 
If she's anywhere, it'd be somewhere that can't be accessed inside the house. Alright? I hope they don't realize it's missing so soon. But if they do, I'll hide it somewhere and leave a note for you in the other in the old spot where we'd exchange letters. It would make you fair mad to see how the house is being treated. There are rooms that have been blocked off and a lot of repairs that need doing. It's a hazard though, uh, it's a hazard. Though I suppose most of the house is safe now, safe and stable enough. Jeez, that noise is really bugging me, Jesus. I'm worried about the people that live here though. They're all quite strange. I heard screams last night. They seem to originate from the main bedroom. When I snuck in to take a look, I didn't find anything. Perhaps a secret passage? Either way, take care. Or maybe that was the, uh, the mistress's room? Or whatever? Either way, take care uh, when you come by. Your brother's house guests are an odd bunch and none too friendly. I'm actually a little worried. Small key with a sun... Oh, the sun key! That's in uh, the one room, the bright room. Fell out of the letter. Okay, so everything's freaky in here. We're way over the time that I normally try to aim for. And that just kind of ended. And it's still... Or not. I... Oh, I don't know what to say. Okay, so we're not back in the main area, and uh, we got a sun key, which we're going to be using over in this room. Uh, but we are way out of time, and um, anyway, this has been Let's Play the Here and Now of Yesterday. I'm Oblik, and I will see you in the next part. Until then.